Can six amazing developers make one simulator game? In this video, we're going to find out. After each developer goes, rate how they did out of 10 in the comments below. The first developer is Lewiscape. Let's see what happens. Hello everyone, it's Lewiscape. So since this is simulator based, I was thinking of doing a punch simulator thing where every time you punch, you gain strength and then you can fight other AI and stuff like that. All right, so I added a multiplier too that can increase by getting like pets and stuff like that or game passes. And every time you click, your strength goes up by the multiplier. Next, I'm gonna make the punch animation. All right, this is the final animation. The strength works and it combos as intended. So now I have to add the dummy. All right, so I fixed the punch animations. I gave him more kick behind him and I made a dummy here. And every time you hit it, it takes damage. Um, The damage it takes is how much strength you have. And I add a little hit indicator on it too. So you can see how much damage you're doing to it. And it appears my time is up. So I'll pass it to the next person. Hello, it's Raymond. I'm first going to be play testing the game to see how it actually functions. All right, I tested the game. This game reminds me of those fight simulators where you had to grind and work to get more strength and to fight other people with that strength. Instead of using this new system of where you just click to gain strength, I want to use the old way where you have to click on a dumbbell to gain strength. I'm totally not going to steal an asset from workspace. I um, <clears throat> I, I um, I created this. I, I created this model for the game. Surely. I surely created this model for the game. I believe this model is good enough to use for the game. All right, the dumbbell works. The value goes up as you click too. Also, this doesn't break the punching either. You can still punch. All right, I added an animation. The animation isn't that good, but maybe uh, the developer will be able to animate it better than me. All right, I finally added it so when you work out, you size up. This wasn't that hard to do and only took a few minutes, though I might want to change the value of how much your body grows as you click. All right, the system is completed. This is what it looks like. I added a sound for every five pumps. I hope my scripts are good enough for the other developers to edit. Also, I had a lot of fun doing this challenge. Now time for the next developer. Hello everyone, I have taken over the road dev channel now as a contestant. When I loaded into the game, I realized the game was a, no, a simulator. I hate simulators as a player and as a developer and I have no experience making one so wish me luck. Okay, so first things first, there's no map. Second thing second, this dumbbell could use some work cause it kinda reminds me of myself. Ugly. Okay, my bad to the person who made this. First thing I did was hop on Blender. Made this still garbage but okay dumbbell. Next thing I did was import it and holy I got gains. Now the next missing part was the map so I actually worked on that. I made these trees out of free models, sorry for that. Keep in mind I have an hour to make this. I also added this cute little sun and this water asset made by def or higher i also tweaked the graphics a little bit to fit the vibe of this map but the map doesn't fit the vibe of weightlifting with my extra time i made this cake which is totally not g fuel and the push-up tool and a level 2 dumbbell but and for the protein shake it the multiplier doesn't go away so i hope someone can code a limiter for me for my last seven minutes i made this boxing ring which took me 10 minutes so i kind of exceeded some time but hopefully rodev doesn't get mad at little old me subscribe to sleepless hello everyone i'm johnny go three and today I'm going to be part of this game swap. This is a simulator, so I'm going to be changing the lighting to something more cartoonish. I changed the lighting, I think this looks a lot better. I also changed the color of the water to something more bright. And that's it. So now I'm going to add a GUI that displays the strength that the player has. So here's the GUI and displays how many strength do you have. I also added one for the multiplier. So now I'm going to make a simple revert system for the game. Okay, so here's the revert system. It took me more than I thought, but here. So my time's up, so that's going to be everything. Thanks, Rodep, for this big opportunity. After John Inc. 03, I really wanted to bring in someone that has experience with making super clean games. Here's a clip that the next person Bobcat actually submitted and it's basically the reason I picked him. The game that I've been working on made you very beautiful. Pretty cool, right? I think that game was amazing, so let's see what he can bring to this game. Hi, my name is Bonkat. You may have heard of me from some semi-popular games that I've scripted, such as the Backrooms and Grinding Simulator. Today, I'll be taking place in a Rodev's Game Swap. Let's check it out. Okay, so this looks to be a simulator. Uh, there's a boxing arena over here. It might be uh, that boxing game that I've heard. Oh, you've got some simple simulator stuff going on here. I see me gaining extra health every single time I lift this weight. Seems to be a reboot system. Oh, let's see. This looks to be a fighting area here. Uh, this game looks pretty simple at the moment. Uh, let me see how this would look with two players. Okay, I'm in the game with... Seems like you can punch with two players and I'm gonna check if this thing is working. Let's see. Alright. It doesn't seem that this is working. Okay. It does seem that we have a data saving system. Let's see what I can do. So it seems that there's a punch function, but the player grows along with their punch. So if anyone's smaller than them, then they can't hit them. Okay, I decided to add some punch articles and let's see. 
I have view effects for when you gain a new item and when you rebirth. I just finished my turn and uh, here I'll show you what I've made. Basically, I've blown up the UI. You've got your new music punching in mute, unmute, blue birds. And let's see if I give myself a ton of strength right now. Here we go. I'd unlock two new items and a new system with punching. <laughs> Very interesting. And if you rebirth, a new system, it works. And it multiplies all your stuff. Very, very cool. I wish I could have done more in the time that I had, but it is what it is. Bye. Okay, guys, Bobcat just finished and I hopped into the game. It looks incredible. I think John did a great job with this map here. I also love the music we have going on in the background. And I think someone also modeled a dumbbell, which is incredible. Look at these animations when I get strength. Let's see if this area works yet. And it doesn't exactly work. So hopefully Cash will be able to do something with this. And it also looks like someone added rebirthing. Um, I'm just walking around the map and I like how there's been a lot of detail added to the map. And I wonder who added these cool animations. They're actually pretty sick. I was also thinking that this part of the map could be used for some kind of king of the hill type thing. I also want to check out what this rig over here is. Maybe it's just to make sure the map is a good size. And you can actually still punch in the game. So maybe we'll see something happen with that. But I'm going to go ahead and try to rebirth. Let's press rebirth. And looks like I get double the strength now. I'm going to quickly grind up to that 100 strength. Never mind. I just remembered I can give myself the strength. There's a strength and that's one that's a lot of strength only 1.2 million strength okay i'm not sure what happened there oh i forgot that you get sized up with strength i'm a little bit big now let's go ahead and rebirth i had to fall a long way down what is going on with my body i think i learned my lesson uh cheating is not good because this is something look at my tiny little legs and then this huge body and what is this over here i think it's my tie I love how the dumbbell is just the same size still. And my head is all the way up here. This is so weird. Let's try and give ourselves a thousand strength. Now, I'm not going to make it a million, but I will make it 1,000. And the size changed a little bit. I'm still not sure what's going on. The body is a little bit well put together now. And looks like we also got a push-up tool. And you, you can't really see it that well with this body, but it's there. And we have a level 2 dumbbell, which gives us a bunch more strength. I'm going to rebirth, and the body has not gone back to normal. It's weird how we have, like, the ice effect now. But hopefully this kind of stuff will be patched up by Cash. I know I cheated, but my fingers are crossed for Cash. I hope he can do some amazing things to this game. So without further ado, let's pass it on to Cash the King. What's up, guys? I'm Cash, aka Cash the King, and I've been a Roblox scripter for three years. So here's what I did. First things first, I checked out the game, and it looked decent. But you can't always judge a book by its cover, so I pressed play and checked out the game even more. The main gameplay really wasn't done, but I could tell that it was supposed to be some sort of weightlifting simulator and i may have got a little carried away testing out the game so enjoy this little training montage but then i remember that i only had one hour to finish this entire game so i needed to get to work fast and i got to work so here's basically everything that i did I fixed up the UI a little bit, added a couple new dumbbells, I added a bunch of these NPCs that you could kill for trophies, made it so you could fight other players, then you could rebirth with those trophies and get a new multiplier, and of course I had to add a robux shop because there needs to be an easy way out for people who want to play the game, but don't want to grind their heart and soul into it. I added a lot more changes, but I'm too lazy to add them here, so now I'm done with my part, and this is the final game, so let's pass it to Rodev. Okay guys, I just loaded into the game and I'm about to see it for the first time other than the UI. So there it is, the map kind of looks the same. And in the back we have these NPCs, I'm not really sure what they're here for. Who added this? Oh, that was me. Okay, and like, what's the point of these? Oh, so you just beat them up. That's amazing. Since the game is looking pretty dull, someone removed the arena. Who was that? Oh, that was also me. We're going to be doing a challenge. First person to kill the pirate right here gets 10,000 Robux. Alright guys, the challenge is on. First person to kill the pirate gets 10,000 Robux. So I think everyone understands the strategy. It's probably better to kill the nerds repeatedly than do push-ups. Man, I really want the right now. What happens if we hit the pirate right now? Looks like we die. Okay guys, I'm muted in the call, but I'm just gonna send this message to Cash. Give someone an OP crate. I wonder who he's gonna give it to. Probably Raymond. Alright, Rodev, I'm gonna spawn the crate. Okay, let's see who gets it. Where's the crate? It just fell in. Let's see who grabs it. I think Raymond is gonna grab this one. I'm gonna get it first. Yes! 
There it is. And what did Raymond just get from that? He just got a 3x multiplier. I'm yeah. gaining 3 per now. Raymond is far behind in this race, so let's even get up to 1,000 strength. Because remember, you need 1,000 strength to kill this pirate. Two seconds later. There it is. Raymond just took the lead with his OP multiplier. Cash, what would happen if you drop a bunch of random crates? Oh, then everybody would get multipliers. <laughs> Raymond, you're not going to have this lead for long. Here they come. Look at all these crates. No way, Raymond is up to a 7x multiplier. That needs to be nerfed. I think we need a couple more crates here because there are some people that could use them. I'm going to spawn a bad crate that sets your multiplier to 1. Look at that. Raymond is already at 600 strength. All he needs is 1,000. Then he can kill the pirate. Because if he were to try right now, that would happen. He's eating 21 strength per. Look how big I am, guys. You guys want to fight? Wait, how do I grab it? I grab it. Yeah, you won't fight me. Raymond is literally destroying the competition right now. I'm gonna try and punch Raymond. He just absolutely got me. Raymond kind of got destroyed, but he did some damage. So far, only Sleepless can contest with Raymond. Okay, guys, I'm muted, but I'm just gonna tell him to spawn 100 crates. Let's see what happens when he spawns 100 of them. Oh my gosh. Raymond is a 19 times multiplier. Why is he at the top? I'm gonna try and grab some multiplier for myself, too. John Inc. has a 50 times multiplier. He could take this home. Look at the size of Raymond now. Raymond just got absolutely destroyed, but the pirate is very low now. But the pirate is down to 300 health. Let's see if he can get- Oh, he's still the pirate? I think he just killed- Who was that? Who killed the pirate? I think I killed the pirate. Was it Bobcat or was it Raymond? Honestly, you guys can comment down below who won that, and that person will get 10,000 Robux. Okay, I'm gonna play that clip back for you guys, and you guys gotta comment who killed the pirate. If you haven't already, check out the last game swap because it was a ton of fun. Also, join the Discord if you want to be a developer in this kind of video. This took a long time to put together, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.